Hello, this is Taken for UC. Welcome back to another breakdown video. And so, we're going to be looking at the TMNT, the other game, game issue number seven. And this issue is going to be really interesting just because the actual description for this issue, as well as the actual covers, are not revealing anything about the actual story just yet. So, I got a feeling this issue could be a potential big one. And with what could potentially come after this issue for the final uh, part of the Yama Game game, it could lead on to some really big things, but at the same time, it's not really anything too big. So, this issue overall is really interesting. So, yeah, let's actually take a look at the description for this issue. Okay, so the description for this issue goes as follows. Chaos reigns. Despite the best efforts of Rokusaki and the tenderest Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, New York City teeters on the edge of anarchy. The Rat King and his terror trio have outmaneuvered the heroes at every stage, and now his vision of a world in ruins is well within reach. Soon his siblings, the Phantoms, will have no choice but to play his game. Can the Tim and T find a way to stop the apocalypse, or will the disorder rule the day? It all comes ahead in the penultimate issue of the Armageddon game. Okay, so yeah, there's some pretty big things that I do sort of mention in this uh, description, as well as not actually mentioning anything too big that's going to be happening in this issue. Now, normally when we do this, when they uh, don't really say too much about the story within the actual issues themselves, this normally means that something big is going to be happening in this issue, or could lead on to something really big. And just because of what this issue is, and what it could be setting up for the actual future for this series, I do think it's really interesting with what they don't actually mention in terms of the story. I know they don't actually get mentioned of anything in the story just yet, but I do find that really interesting. Okay, so first start off with, I feel like we should start off with the fact that the Turtles are basically losing because Rat King and his true have stopped them at every corner. Now, I do find this really interesting just because of everything that's been happening in the Jumbo Game games so far with what Turtles have been doing and been setting up things uh, for the rest for, for later in the series with them being able to stop the Jumbo Game game as well as the Terra Trio in terms of retrieving new characters to stop them. So, I do find that really interesting just because of how big the team is right now. Now, I do have to wonder with this is that maybe, like, will someone actually die? Because this will like, definitely stop them in their plans and tracks and all that. And with what they could be doing, I was wondering like, how they're going to be stopping the turtles with everything. It's really interesting, I would say. So, the person who I think could potentially have a big effect on everything if they were to kill someone off is Shredder. Because I feel as though he's like, the one definitely leading everything. And taking out the picture, then the turtles will be lost. So I do definitely think that taking Shredder out of the picture would definitely like, stop everyone and have a big effect on everything. And I do feel as though that maybe this story could be heading in that direction. Maybe not killing Shredder, but like, killing someone very important to the series. Okay, so the next thing which I do find interesting in this description is the fact that the Phantoms might be stepping in and actually taking action. So, in the issue for the Game game, they released the first few preview images, and it's quite interesting as they're talking about how to stop the Rat King. And in the uh, second page, uh, Jaguar basically reveals that basically, they, in fact, basically they should step in and actually stop this. And the only way that, like, and the only way that they have like a potential way of stopping it is if they actually get Kitsuno's help. But unfortunately, she's in a deep sleep. So. This is really interesting, and when we do take a look at the cover, it does roll a bit more into this. And I do think this bit is going to be really interesting with what they do and what they cannot do. So, yeah, I can't really say too much here just because I'm not too sure what to be expecting just yet. But I got a feeling that this potential bit with the Phantoms could play like a really big role in the actual um, game game. Okay, then for the next bit is the fact that Turtles have to come up with a way to stop the apocalypse from happening. Now, the thing is, with this whole again, uh, again game coming so close to Rat King actually winning in these issues, I do have to wonder, because of the lack of the description for, the actual, for this actual issue, I'm sort of wondering now if maybe Rat King could potentially be winning and he could actually cause the Armageddon game and could lead on to something else. I'm not too sure. Or at the very least, I do feel as though that even if Rat King doesn't cause complete apocalypse, I do feel as though that he's got something up his sleeve that could potentially set something else off that could lead on to something really big. I just got that feeling because with how big this whole Armageddon game is and they're leaving it right to the last issue to actually stop him, it really makes me wonder just how, um, like how much they're actually going to win and if Rat King will actually have anything to do with 
like a big like a bigger setup for something else. I just got a thing that they could potentially could actually start the apocalypse or do something like that. Just because of the lack of description for the story. You know, I'm just getting that sort of vibe, but I do want to be wrong because I don't want the apocalypse and I don't want this end of the series. But at the same time, with everything that sort of leading up to this, it sort of just made me wonder if maybe they could be heading in this direction and then could lead on to like another event type thing where the turtles have to travel back in time and like stop the apocalypse. I just feel so that there's something there that like, like something big's happening coming up that we're not seeing it just yet. But at the same time, I want to be wrong about this, so. I'm not exactly too sure what to make of it just yet, but I got a feeling that something big is really happening and it's coming up soon after this event. I, I just got a feeling about it. Okay, so now for the actual covers. So we got the connecting cover, which just looks amazing. We got Leonardo, we got Shredder, Kitsune, Shibre. It's just amazing. Now, like I've been saying with all the other past issues from this connecting cover thing. This just looks amazing and just can't wait to put this up with all the other uh, all the other covers. This just looks so amazing, the artwork, yeah it's just amazing, just wow. I really wish I could say much more about it but at the same time I don't really know what else to say about it, it's just too amazing to put into words. Okay and then for the next cover we have the main cover which is also somewhat interesting and may potentially set things up for the actual story itself. So we've got the Phantom Siblings all around Kitsune, even Ratkin's there. So this all does make me wonder if maybe that the Phantoms are trying to get Kitsune away to try and help them stop Ratkin or Ratkin's here to basically set things up and tell it, like, everyone what's happening and he's going to be stopping them and stuff like that. There's like, so many things here which could potentially happen and so I've got a feeling it could be that, like another one of those situations where just like, oh what well, this happens, but what well, this happens. I just also saw one of those type situations. And this cover is really interesting and really intrigued me to what could like what could happen potentially. But yeah, that's going to be for today guys, I'm quite interested to hear what I say about this in the comment section below. I mean, just due to the lack of actual description for things that will be happening in this issue, do you think, like, I I'm not too sure what to really think of it, like, what do you think is going to happen in this issue? I just got a feeling it's going to be a lot of, like, speculation in terms of, oh, what if this happens, but what if this happens? But there's going to be a lot of that, and it's interesting, and with things that they could potentially be setting up, that's also really interesting and intriguing. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today guys, if you do love some, please share lots of scrub and stuff, goodbye yo, bye!